last one. So in today's video, I'm going to be kind of showing you guys the steps that I am taking for myself just to kind of try and build a healthier lifestyle. So this video is going to be a lot of different categories, just stuff that I'm doing that I think that you guys could do too if you just want to implement them into your life to become like a healthier version of you, better mindset, better attitude. These aren't to become a perfect person. It isn't to become that girl. It's literally just some little things that you can do for yourself, just for you, nobody else, just focusing on yourself and being better, kind of just before school starts. Because once school starts, I'm gonna be a senior, like it's time I get myself together, it's time that I start making good habits to continue on like throughout the course of the school year and then hopefully, you know, into college. So if you're interested, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the categories that I have that I love so much is planning. You can do that either on paper or on your phone. I actually use both because my whole family has a whole Google Calendar setup thing where everyone has all of their different schedules on it, but it's all combined together. It's so nice, I highly recommend that. But um, personally, I'm going to be talking about this type of planning where you are using an actual planner. This is the planner that I'm gonna be using for the upcoming school year. This is gonna last through my whole senior year. It goes from August all the way to next July. You can get these online or my, well, can't say my college because I haven't even applied, but the college that I'm looking at going to, they actually carry these planners. I just love these types of planners. They're really good, but these are some reasons why you need to be planning basically. Planning obviously boosts productivity because you're writing down all the things you need to do and then hopefully you'll end up wanting to check those off therefore you get more things done. Helps with time management because literally your whole schedule is laid out. You have your monthly view as well as a more detailed weekly view that I love. Creates balance in your life because you can see what your priorities are and also make time for stuff that you want to do as well. My personal favorite reason why I love planning actually on paper is because it gives you a clear visual look on what you can expect next and that's self-explanatory you can literally see your whole week you can see your whole month and honestly that just helps my brain it helps me just feel a lot better so that is why I love planning like I said this one has a monthly view you can have little notes section on the side what I love about the student planner also is that after the monthly view you have a whole section of things you can put goals events notes where I in the notes I put like video ideas and stuff and then for projects and exams you can put like a description of it the class it's for details about it the deadline important dates and then a checkbox for when you complete it it's honestly just a gray layout and obviously the weekly view as well so there's three little sections to each day so um, on the very left one, I don't know how long this will last, but I have been putting like a quote for the day. I'll usually put those at the beginning of the week and then I can always just like look back at them. Cheesy, I know, but I'm that type of person. I usually get them off of Visco. Also cheesy, but it worked. And then I put like the reminders that I have and you know, anything that I need to jot down during the day. And then there's a to-do section. I just love this planner so much, but there's obviously a lot of different types of planners out there. There's even more intricate Erin Condren design but this is just a simple literally all you need you can get them at Target you can get them at Walmart Amazon wherever you can make them as colorful or as simple as you want honestly if I try to make mine too colorful or too cute looking it doesn't really last that long so I think I'm just gonna stick to a black pen or pencil whatever I have with me at the time these are some of my favorites I just get my black pens off Amazon and I will have these linked in the description I have my whole Amazon account in the description always it does have some of my favorite things in it and there's there's a whole section of like stationery. The next section that I have that I freaking swear by is journaling. And you guys have probably been told that journaling is great before. And I know it's so like, you just hear it all the time, but you're like, how does that even actually work? But I literally have started this and now I just can't stop. It's something that I look forward to doing when my day is over or really just whenever I want to. This is the journal that I have. Got it from Target. I can try to link it in the description, but it was like, less than ten dollars from the little notebook planner section at Target. It's all you need. It's just laid out to where you can circle the month and then the date and then usually I just fill one side of a page but sometimes it goes over into the next. It's a great thing to do and there's a lot of reasons for that so some of the things I wrote down. A journal will always be there for you. After a while I start to feel annoying if I'm just telling my friends 
every little detail so your journal is here for you if you're a type of person that likes to talk about all your problems all your you know everything about your life to people your journal is always going to be here to listen this is here it's got you it's not going anywhere you can put whatever you want in here literally write down whatever comes to your mind at the time it doesn't have to be great english it doesn't have to be anything perfect at all your handwriting can be horrible but it literally just lets you write down anything and everything that you're thinking and it helps clear your mind after you've done it for a while you can literally just go back and read about any of your days and then you can see how much you've improved from then to now and that's one of my favorite things about it is like you can just see how much you've changed as a person so when you journal you a lot of times at least for me i'll write down some issues or like things that have been just bugging me and they might feel like the biggest problems at the time but even now i've been journaling for like a freaking month but even now like looking back some of the problems and issues that i thought were just like the end of the world just don't even relate at this point and that's not to like invalidate your feelings like obviously your feelings are your feelings at the time but like it's just nice to see how you grow as a person and then really another good thing about it is just that it helps you unwind at night this could be the last thing you do before you go to bed and then you're not just on your phone and then you go to sleep right after it's a good it's a good it's a good transition into you going from your phone to sleep. Okay, now this is so cliche and I literally cannot even keep this up myself a lot of times, but it's something that I'm really working on and something that literally helps me every time that it is done. So this is just having a clean room and I know you wanna click off this video because you've heard this so many times, but um, I'm just gonna go into it a little bit more. You probably know all this stuff by now, but I'm here to remind you if you forgot. So having a clean room honestly helps me have a better night's sleep because then that's not lingering in my mind. It just is great when you have clean sheets, a nice made bed, you just sleep better. For me, it just just tidies up my brain so not only is your room clean but your mind is clean I always say that I just say clean room clean mind it's a great saying to go off of and honestly it's true it also helps you feel a sense of accomplishment okay also this might sound really stupid but whenever I take like alpha pictures and I don't even do anything with them I just save them to my memories but then when my room is a mess I'm just like Okay, really Ashlyn, like that's kind of embarrassing, even though I'm the only one seeing them. It also promotes a positive mental attitude and it has an energizing effect. Did I get that from the internet? Yes, but it's true. Going off of that, which I kind of already talked about was make your bed. Making your bed is literally something that you hear all the time as well, but literally just like make your bed every morning. Cause then when you go to sleep the next night, you have a nice made bed and then you sleep better and then it's all around a better, night also if that's the first thing you do in the morning then that's already one thing checked off the list now you're ready to check more things off the list and then just keep it going it's just a great habit to get into and then i'm hoping for when it gets into my senior year then i can just do that every morning get in that habit and then take that with me to college so that is that okay guys i know that these are all things you hear all the time but seriously just listen to me when i tell you this work out that doesn't have to be something crazy that doesn't have to be going to the gym could just be doing stuff at home so don't go to the gym because the one that i would go to literally too many people go to that i know but just hear me out so i've been doing cycle bar recently which is a new place that opened here it's many different places i'm not exactly sure where but there may be something like that or cycle bar near you basically it's just a cycling class which sounds like weird i don't know you guys may have heard like emma chamberlain talk about soul cycle basically that but more like in a competitive way they have all these classes throughout the day so sometimes i'll do 5 a.m classes sometimes i'll do 6 a.m i've done a 9 30 i've done a 4 p.m it kind of just depends on the day you can plan ahead or you can do it the day of it's just a great thing i've been doing and i actually did a 5 a.m class this morning before i babysat at 8 30 so great way to start your morning it honestly made me feel so much better just throughout the day like that rush that you get after you work out like you feel like you've just done so much already like my class got done at 5 45 in the morning and i felt so powerful because i was like wow you just feel better you're doing great things for your body you feel good you look good i truly believe in that not only is cycle bar great for me and just working out in general it also just gives you something to look forward to so like when i have a 5 a.m class i look forward to that honestly it's 
as much as I dread getting up, like I look forward to that planned event that I have the next day. I only kind of sound sad, but like it's true. Like especially on these summer days when I literally don't know what to do with my days, that I can do and that I can plan around. It also improves body positivity immensely. For me, like I'm, I don't have a body that I'm going for. I don't have a look that I'm going for, but honestly, if you feel good after you work out, I think that is a great step to take. That's all that really matters. And then when I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, I have worked for this body that I have instead of feeling like I could do stuff to change it if I'm already like actively like doing steps to help myself. I don't know if that made any sense. When school starts, I might do them in the morning, but theoretically it's probably gonna be better for me to do it after school because that will just make more sense. So those are basically the steps that I've been taking to just like help myself. And I know that those seem so little and that's what you hear all the time. But honestly, little steps and little habits to do are just honestly just gonna help you a lot even if they're as small as making your bed every morning. I hope that you guys could take something out of it because, I mean, I'm trying, so hopefully you guys are gonna try too, because why not? It's almost school time, so might as well get all these habits started now before school, and then by the time we get to school, we're gonna be great. We're gonna have great habits, and we're already gonna be used to them, and then we can spend more time focusing on our studies. So these are just things that I'm going to be taking with me through high school, through college, through my life, and hopefully um, I can make another video on this soon with more tips if I come up with them. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!